All right, you ready to get this party started? We're continuing our adventure through the underground. For those of you that are joining me for the first time, welcome! For those of you jumping on board from the previous video, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be squaring off against Papyrus, your friendly neighborhood bonehead, puzzle enthusiast, and future member of the Royal Guard. Or so he thinks, anyway. All those redeeming qualities don't compare to his top talent, though. Being a top-notch spaghetti connoisseur. Your mama Luigi would be so proud of his mame-tastic abilities. Yet, due to the underlying racial tensions between humans and monsters, he's compelled to capture us rather than hang out like real bone bros would. That's totally not cool and befitting of his image. Let's hold that thought for a moment, though. This game's Steam page claimed that we could date a skeleton, and I'm not going to pass up this golden opportunity. I'd say that went about as well as it could. All those weeks I spent rotting in my chair playing video games like a lazy son of a bitch are finally gonna pay off. Getting back to the task at hand, though, this attack's incredibly threatening. Just stand perfectly still because blue attacks can't hurt you as long as you don't move. Can't you humor me a little bit more than that, bone brain? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, he did. Undertale is a platformer now. Remember what I said about Undertale always mixing it up with fresh twists on the tried and true shoot 'em up formula? This is exactly what I was talking about. A freaking genre change right in the blink of an eye. Assuming you aren't spoiling yourself right now, who in their right mind would have expected this on their first time through the game? With our soul painted a lovely shade of blue, we're bobbing and weaving our way through bones of all shapes and sizes, while the cool dude babbles on about his non-existent popularity. Tooting a little bit more than just his own horn, as he relishes his astonishing looks that would make anybody drop dead in their tracks. As a general rule of thumb, you should stay away from the boundaries of these platforming battles, since the projectiles and obstacles will form from either one of those sides. Other than that, there really isn't a whole lot I could add without it being immediately obvious. While the battle rages on, I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk about my YouTube channel in general. It's been a lot of hard work editing these videos over the past couple of days, recording the gameplay footage, coming up with thoughts afterwards, and then throwing it all together to create a complete video. But at the end of the day, it's all worth it when you look back at what you've created and smile knowing that it'll potentially reach hundreds of people that share your passion all around the world. A lot of what I just said applies to our friend Papyrus, too. It's always been his dream to join the Royal Guard, even if he's a big weenie underneath that slick scarf and that snarky skeletal grin. Despite what others have told him countless times, he never once thought of giving up. By that extent, neither should you. It doesn't matter what you do for a living, whether it be movie making, journalism, carpentry, or even serving in the military. Your deepest desires may one day be more than just a dream. It could become reality. I have no idea if my channel's going to succeed or not, but it never hurts to try. This is the mentality I bring into the battlefield with me whenever I fire up one of my favorite games. Oftentimes, they pose a great challenge to overcome, and that's a million times more satisfying to triumph over than anything that's too easy. If you're doubting yourself right now, then take the time to challenge yourself with a difficult game. It doesn't have to be anything in particular, just choose one you're fond of and rise up to the occasion. You'd be surprised what you can do even when you're under pressure. I think I'm going to cut the chatter here since his special attack is coming up, and that's too good for words. I'll let you guys see that for yourselves.
Why do I get the feeling this is anything but a regular attack? Well, you have to hand it to him. That attack was definitely really cool, even though it was way out of the ordinary. That's going to be it for this video, folks. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more quality content. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Undertale.